What's up guys, it is Matty, and welcome to another Hog video at Channel 8. Um, I swear I've got to make my own series for this, for like Channel 8 War Hogs or something, something like that. But um, this is the base we're going to do, and we're going to try a holo attack. And the reason we're doing a holo is look at, look at the air defence sort of coverage. Look at the exposed defences, which are just not going to be in range of any of them. So... I'm going to loon all those, then hog the bottom, and see how we go, to be honest. There might be a double giant bomb, actually, no, it's not a double giant bomb possible, so that's even better. So, yeah, um, it's pretty straightforward. Killing the CC is going to be the main part, let's see how we go. Um, hold on, let me just check my anchor. Anchor. Yeah, the... Huh. Might anchor it in from the right actually. Just trying to figure out where the, the, the arch is gonna gonna drop. Okay, I think we got this. Let's go. <laughs> okay. Um just looking. There we go. Hopefully that's enough to take down all those free defences. Man hopes. Oh, we might have one survive. Ah, oh, the other loons are going over to kill it. Wicked. <laughs> oh, God, on, loon drop. Ah. Oh. Anchor over here. Anchor's looking good. Now... I need to get the witch out. I need to get her out to play. Witch down. Cool. Get the other troops in. Do a loon drop. Go, 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 go. Splat. Barb. Wizard. Barb. There we go. Now we're going to hog in. We're going to drop the king down here. We're going to hog in from bottom side down here. In they all go. Heal spell straight in them all. I'm trying to get the king out to play. There we go, and the heels are all down. That should be the king coming after my king. That's what I'd expect. Oh man, my hog survived the heel as well. <laughs> Legit. Uh, okay, where do we need wizards? I think about there looks right. <laughs> oh, I've got minions as well. Um, one, two... And I don't know where I'm going to need the third. Ah, throw him there anyway. I could have probably done him to the right actually, but now nah, the hogs are going there. Now nah, we're good. We've we've wrecked this base. <laughs> Matty uh, tearing up bases with hogs every day of the week. Ah, there's a double there. Look, that's interesting. Didn't affect me anyway because I was able to dodge it, but it's always interesting. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. 100%. Woo! Not going to lie. Never gets old getting a 100% getting in war. Feels good every damn time. Anyway, hope you enjoyed watching another live three star with hogs. It's pr pretty straightforward, to be fair, that one. If we go back in and have another look um, at how we did. Where do we go? So yeah, looking at the base, I just took out the, the easy exposed defences. I knew it was going to get the CC pull, because if you look at the loon pathing um, and where they actually go, and that was the easy bit. So once those defences were down, you, you can just see the bottom clump of defences down here, and then that move into the core as well. And it was just natural that the hogs were going to go in that way, and it, it just really made, worked out well. Um, in, in just the way the base is laid out so it's not the best lay, base layout I've seen 
Um, meaning that I wanted to try and kill the king. Now, me dropping my king where I did, the objective was to try and get his king, but it didn't quite work. But let's watch one more time. So, 2-2 two, two on the loon. I'm just dropping two loons on every defence, to be honest, that's free. Hoping that it, it took them all down. You can see it just worked very well. Um, and there, the last two... <laughs> two loons that survived at the top side able to move across and finish up that arch tower which was great because uh, every defence then went down that I wanted to go down CCLU kill was pretty easy now because it's a um, cause it's a witch you want you don't want her to keep spawning skeletons so it's important to try and take the witch down as soon as you can so you can see how I just pulled the troops away away from the witch mainly then I, I wanted to get the witch out even further so I could just drop minions right on her so at this point I could just drop t there we go two minions straight on the witch and she is down and then it's just the wizzy and the skellies and to get them into one group to be fair I didn't even need to loon drop these I could have just um, a couple of barbs and a couple of wizards but it's always fun to loon drop if you can so <laughs> Then a barb to distract, another barb to distract, and then the wizard down there to see. And at that point, yep, yeah, happy days on that. Drop the king down there to try and get the other king, but that didn't pan out as as well. And then it was just the hog deployment. And you can see double finger drop because they were both going to go in the same place. The first heal spell could have been actually quite a bit better placed. It could have been sort of a lot higher. Um, but it, it didn't work out. It wasn't the end of the world. Then the next two heals were sort of straightforward. They were all the way over um, or I tried to get as, mu as much over those defences as possible because then it was only one sort of quadrant left with defence buildings and as always when I raid I always try to leave as much um, well not as much but some clean up troops so that that wizzy at the top the wizzy at the left and the and the bottom bottom left as well uh, and then the minions they all helped um, just to take these buildings down so that I had enough time to get the raid done so yeah I mean it's a pretty classic raid I hope I hope it yeah it touched you in a way <laughs> no I hope it uh, hope it just showed you give uh, gave you a small small inkling at how I do my hog raids and stuff and they generally work out now I've got level four hogs it I feel like I'm I'm a bit of a beast <laughs> yeah, it's, it's a lot easier trust me but anyway I'm just going to speed up the rest of this raid and hope you enjoyed it guys. So peace out and I'll see you on the next one.